This is a nightmare scenario. Today, a dire warning about drastic cuts if Washington doesn't help. The Illinois Deputy Governor and Pritzker Budget Director sent agency heads this memo urging spending restraint. So this morning, my administration sent notice to all of our cabinet directors to prepare for the possibility of cuts of at least 5% for the current fiscal year. The memo also advises to prepare for 10% cuts next year. The governor says the pain can be avoided if Congress and the White House strike agreement on a coronavirus relief package. If we don't receive support from the federal government for our cities and our counties, uh, you've already seen challenges, I think, you know, in our police departments, our fire departments across the state, cities and counties. If they don't receive federal support, they won't be able to maintain their workforce. Governor Pritzker's current $42.9 billion spending plan signed into law in June relies heavily on federal assistance and it authorizes borrowing of up to $5 billion from a federal COVID relief fund. A spokesman for Senate GOP leader Bill Brady reacted to word about the cuts saying the reliance on federal funding that wasn't for certain was one of many concerns Senate Republicans had with the budget. However, there is still hope that federal funding for COVID related issues may still be made available. In Washington, Democrats and Republicans insist more economic stimulus is needed, but negotiations have stalled. I still hope we'll be able to get there. It's been disappointing that it's taken this long. The caucus remains unified, committed to getting something done. On another front, Illinois student athletes and their supporters continue to pressure Governor Pritzker to allow fall sports. Every state that borders Illinois is now playing high school football, but Governor Pritzker says that has not changed his thinking. This isn't a political decision. Look, I'm not willing to sacrifice people's lives or their health. Uh, neither the children nor their parents who would be affected also. On the budget cuts, Pritzker says the deadline is the end of the month. The state will have to do something if that support from Washington doesn't come through. Mike and